Hey everyone, I wanted to uh, make a video real quick about the book that I read today. I, the last video I talked about it, I started it in the last video, but I, I was quite busy today with a few other things, so I was able to finish it today though, and then I started a different book, but I'll get to that book in a minute of why I kind of paused in reading it and I haven't been able to restart it yet. So. I read Musketeers. It is the book two in the Fallen MC series. Again, this is my fault. I should have at least seen if these books were part of a series before I bought them. Which, even the next set that I have scheduled to buy for next month, I really didn't look at that. But I did buy the first book in this series. It just hasn't gotten here yet, so I'm gonna read them out of order. Which might drive me insane, but because of the fact that uh, in the series, in the first one, they do mention these three characters quite a bit, I guess, from what I've read on the reviews, which I re I don't usually read the reviews, I just kind of give it like a gauge of, oh, they it has three plus stars, or four stars, five stars, I can't remember how many stars this had. But I do remember that in the reviews, it did mention a lot of grammar errors. Now, the only reason I mentioned the grammar errors and little things like that in the other book was because it was really obvious to me. Whereas this one, it wasn't as obvious, which you can definitely tell that I am not like an editor or a huge grammar freak or a huge, like an English person, I guess. Not like English person, because I do speak English, but like... English like but like classes like high school like writing kind of type of thing you can definitely tell that I would be horrible at editing and writing not writing because I do love writing and I'm hoping to finish a book of mine own to self-publish but of just grammar mistakes are just not my thing typically so although quite a few of the reviews mentioned a lot of the grammar mistakes that were driving people nuts that didn't really speak to me and didn't really I didn't really notice it in this book to be honest here's the cover so this is the Musketeers book two in the Fallen MC series it's by CJ Washington I really enjoyed the book but it even says on the back kind of gives like a little disclaimer I'll read it this can be read as a standalone or part of the Fallen MC series this is a MMFM book, therefore there are MM elements. So, I don't know if everybody recognizes what that means, is that, so that there are three, three, fem three males, I mean, and one female in the relationship in the book. And there are male, male aspects and elements in this book. And it's basically, it says specifically, if this is not to your taste, please skip this book, recommended for 18 plus readers. Which I totally get it. One sec, my dog. So I totally get it and totally get why they would say that. And this just proves to you, read the description, read the, read about the book before you buy the book. Look at the reviews of the book. I did not do this. Which I guess kind of puts it as, at an aspect of a clear mind uh, going in not knowing what, it, what any of it is about. So it kind of gives me a... A good kind of like blank can canvas to look at it all so gist of the story there will be spoilers alert in this gist of the story a girl main character helps her sister and her sister's son get away from her sister's abusive husband her the abusive husband kidnaps the main character which is the sister's She's one of the sisters. And, like, basically... Well, he doesn't kidnap her personally. He has people kidnap her to torture her to figure out where the sister is. And these three gentlemen are part of a motorcycle club that are rescuing another girl that was also kidnapped by the same people. And so they rescue her. And they kind of claim her as their own. And... In the book, it's about them figuring the one guy out, where he is, 
what he's doing and how to save the girls from the guy. Sorry, I'm throwing the ball to my other dog as I'm making this video. And, uh, I lost track of my, what I was going to say for a second. Anyways, it's about how them falling in love with her and her falling in love with the three men. And it's a cute romance book if you're, but you have to remember the three, those couple aspects that might turn a few people away from the book. And that, typically I would not read this type of book just because I'm, and I think mainly it is because, and I thought about this today, why I wouldn't read it, why it might be a little, not standoffish for me, but standoffish almost. Because I, I accept whatever people do to make themselves happy, it's up to them, relationship-wise. So then, but then I thought to myself, well, why wouldn't I read a book like this, or why? But I think it mainly has to do with the fact that I have, like, a really, really weird touch thing. So I really do not like to be touched at all by anyone, even my family knows this, I do not like to be touched. At all. It's just, a, it's a big thing with me. And, so I think mainly it has to do with the fact that when I'm reading a book, as I said before in a previous video, that I try to envision myself as the character to better understand the plot and the characters themselves. So it was it's kind of hard for me to envision just being in a relationship like that, mainly because I do not like to be touched and I tolerate in a relationship being touched and I, if that makes sense, but being, like, I just don't like to be touched at all so <laughs> that kind of was a bit hard for me to grasp while trying to understand it as the reader from the character's point of view but back to the book and not my personal <laughs> endeavors which I guess is a cool thing if you like learning about like drama and stuff from <laughs> other people's lives you might learn a few of my quirks by watching these videos as well so the book I would recommend for people who are okay with multiple partners, there is no, like, cheating in this book. I will say that I do like the way that they handle different situations way better than I did the other, the first book I read that had multiple partners in it that I talked about in this channel. And, uh... And they had a cute little romance. I know some people in some of the re reviews were complaining about the characters themselves, but for a self-published book, which I do think this is a self-published book, just because of the way that if you look at the front and look at the back, usually it says the publisher name or publisher company and editor name and editor company, typically. But it doesn't mention that in this series, in this book at all. So I'm assuming it is self-published and self-edited, or maybe she had like a family or friend, or I don't know. I don't know the author personally, so I can't say what she did or didn't do. But just if you're looking into this book, my last comments would be that it's a multiple partner book. There are same gender relations in the book. Sorry, still playing fetch with the dog. And that it is a motorcycle club book romance. This is the second book. You can read it as a standalone. It even says that. As I do like the series that you can read it out of order and can read it as standalones. And it is a cute little book. It I do really think that it is self-published. And that if grammar does bother you and little mistakes like that do bother you, then this book might not be the one for you. But, if you're open to the idea of the multiple partner romance books and a cute little storyline about a guy, three guys being the hero to the girl and her family, then this might be the one for you. Please let me know if you have any other books that you would like me to try and read and gauge who it might be for and who it might not be for. I try to keep my general opinion to myself, although if you watched all these videos you can tell that I sometimes blurt them out. And that can get a little annoying sometimes, even for me. But, final thoughts, I do like the book. 
It was a cute book. Plot was cute. Characters, cute. Just an overall decent book. Little mistakes here and there that I definitely wouldn't downplay it more. But, down to my... The other book that I started today... Let me see if I can find it. I bookmarked it with part of the wrapper from, because we had Taco Bell today. I bookmarked it with part of the wrapper from Taco Bell because I wasn't sure if I was going to come back to it. I actually read more than I thought I did. But, so this one is by Olivia Grayson. It's called The One I Need. And it's Part of the Snakes Henchmen MC series. Here it is. So, this I really thought I would like, but because it talks about how the MC runs a tight ship on the back and how they protect the innocent and you don't hurt women or children and that you don't go after the president's daughter, but he didn't know that. And then this girl comes back into life. It's like a second chance romance book, which I'm typically not into. But I thought, oh, I'll give this one a chance. And normally I would just continue reading it, but the little things that... And I think it might be because of the, these little things. So she has a daughter, but just gives her basically to her neighbor. Not even necessarily like gives her up legally, but gives her to her neighbor to raise because she doesn't think that the lifestyle she lives is right and, and is for her daughter, which I guess she should have thought about that before she, I don't know, I just wish she would have gone about the process differently because then her neighbor said that it was just too much for her and then she tried giving her daughter back and she didn't want her daughter. And I guess from a person that has had multiple miscarriages, that's kind of like disheartening to hear and read about just because I've had multiple miscarriages myself. So that the whole pregnancy and giving up children thing is kind of a sensitive subject for me personally. So as I was reading it more and we got to that point, it just felt weird, I don't know, that she went to find her father because she learned the truth that her father wasn't dead and but she just left her daughter behind to a neighbor that had children and I just I'm like 90 pages in and I'm just not sure if I'll be able to finish it or not and I think it's because of those little things like I said you'll be able to learn different aspects of my personal life on this channel too but like I said if you are sensitive like that about this type of like if you are sensitive about giving up children or pregnancies or you know you do what you want with your own life but for me personally it kind of struck me and I, I'm not I'm still not sure yet if I'll be able to finish it so I put it back in my pile of books and I have not picked out a new book to start yet I'm hoping to start at least a new book tonight and read another one tomorrow I'm hoping to do not like do a book a day but maybe necessarily do a book a day I can easily read a book a day like the one day I read I usually read at least multiple books a day. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, and actually, when I quit this one, I read another book on my Kindle. Because I still have my Kindle Unlimited till the end of the month. So, I read one of those. But that wasn't one that I really wanted to. And as I mentioned before, it's really hard for me, personally, to talk about different books that are on the Kindle Unlimited. So, there's that. I guess this book was really hard for me. Not sure if I'll be able to finish it or not. I'm going to mention it in the description. I'm not going to mention it in the, in the title of this video. Mainly because I want it to be about this book. I liked this book. It's a cute book. Just remember the different little things that I mentioned that might not be for everyone about it though. I have not finished this book so I can't give a full positive review on this one. But those little things just struck me that I just can't get over yet. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to get over. So I'm going to put it back in my pack. Back in my pack. Back in my pile of books to read. 
and I might go back to it or it might just be a book that I just have. I'm just not sure yet. Uh, thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed and asked different questions and like I said if you have a book that you want me to read or would like to hear more about before you read it, please let me know. Thank you.